What's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper three of October, November 2004 for A-level math. Obviously, in this uh, video, we'll be uh, doing the questions step by step and in detail explanation as well will be provided. With that being said, let's move on to the questions we have for you. Okay, so here we have question number one. So we have to expand this in ascending powers of x up to the term in x squared. Okay, fair enough. So what do we realize or what do we observe? We can rewrite this as what? As 2 plus x power minus 3. Now, we have to know something. To be able to use our formula, which is 1 plus x power n for the binomial expansion, this has to be plus 1 and this has to be negative. So this is good, negative, but this has to be plus 1. So we have to factorize this outside. Take 2 outside, for example, here you will have 2 outside, but we have to provide it with a power as well. And then here you will have 1, and then here we have plus x over 2 power this one. Now, we have to know the expansion of the formula usually is what it is. 1 plus nx plus n times n minus 1 x squared over 2 factorial. Of course, it keeps going on, but we don't need to go more than x squared because it only asks for this. Now, one by one, here we have minus 3, obviously. Now, we can simplify. Uh, what is this? It will be 1 over 2 power 3 is 8 times 1 plus x over 2 power minus 3. Now, given that this is 1 plus 1 and this is this, minus 3 negative, we can use this formula for the expansion. So 1 over 8 is just 1 over 8, fair enough, and this will give you 1 plus n is minus 3, x is x over 2, and this one will be minus 3 times minus 4 times x over 2 square, but over 3 factorial so here we have actually um, 2 factorial, which is 2, right, uh, plus, but we, we don't need more than this because we only care about x squared. Now simplify, um, so here we have what? We have 1 over 8, same thing again, 1 minus 3x over 2, and then here we have, two, this will cancel out, you will have 2, 2 here, 2, 2 cancels, oh no, sorry, this is 4 actually. If you expand this, become 4, so it becomes 2 here. So it becomes plus 3x squared over 4, over 2 actually. So let me explain that again because uh, I don't want to confuse you guys. Here we have 2, right, remaining. And here when you expand, you will have x squared over 4. So 2 times this, that will be 1, and that will be 2. Now 3 times this will be 3 over 2x squared. Now we just have to expand, um, that will be what? 1 over 8 minus 3x over 16 and plus 3x squared over 16. And that is your question number 1 for binomial expansion. Now let's move on to question number 2. So here we have to solve the equation. Solving means finding the value of x. So we have to find this value of x. Now when you find the value, provide this to 2sf. Okay, so one by one. Here we have ln, here we have ln. Let's send them to one side. You have ln of 1 plus x minus ln of x is equal to 1. Now, because they are the same, ln and ln, we can combine them together by the laws of logarithms. That will be ln. That will be 1 plus x minus becomes divide. x is equal to 1. So now one thing we have to know is, what is ln? ln is log to the base of e. Let's say we have y here equal to something, uh, a. To find the value of y, I have to send the base over here. So y will be exponential a. So same reasoning for this one. To find the value inside, I have to send the base over here. So that will be 1 over this, over x. I have to be exponential. Power 1 is just exponential. Now, cross multiply, you will have 1 plus x is equal to x exponential. Send all the x to one side, you will have 1 equal to x exponential minus x. Now we can factorize the x, right? There will be x exponential minus 1. So finally, we conclude x will have to be 
1 divided by exponential minus 1. So let's find this, exponential minus 1, that'll be 0 0.58198, but correct to 2SF, that will be what? That will be 0 0.58. And this is your answer for question number 2. Here we just have to know the laws of logarithms to solve that. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.